What's up everyone? Today is a 10 wind day, so I will talk to the uh, wind people a little bit what this sign is about. Um, according to the Yucatan Maya, uh, crocodile is the first sign and wind is the second sign. Therefore, um, they believe that life starts with the alligator, life is given, and spirit is blown into the life, into the matter, by the second sign, the wind. So, um, this sign has a purpose in life about bringing spiritual messages, spiritual inspirations, and uh, wind also carries messages. As, uh, as I speak, the messages is uh, heard by your ears because of the air, thanks to the air and the wind, therefore. Therefore, communication is a very important aspect in your life. You can actually train yourself uh, for better communication, like how to give your messages in a better way. As a result, also, uh, media and communications is a very good field for your career. You can be very successful in these fields because you know how to uh, pass the messages on. Um, just remember that the spiritual aspect of messages is more important than anything else. Try to connect with your inner spiritual essence and try to inspire humanity with these messages. You also have a very strong mind and this mind is uh, having a big talent of imagination. You can be very creative and have a lot of imagination about things and create stories, even children books you can write, things like that. Just to make sure uh, that these uh, fantasy worlds are fantasy worlds and reality is reality. Don't mix up fantasy and reality uh, because sometimes wind people tend to do that mixing up what is reality and what is fantasy because their mind is so much active. And uh, you need to take care of your lungs, uh, breath work, any kind of pranayama, this kind of works is very useful for you. Actually, the Indian concept of prana fits very much, this wind. It's not just the air, it's, it has a life force in it, so you carry this life force with you. And uh, the divine life force, according to the Maya, which means that you carry this strong uh, force, the breath of God, according to the Maya, with you. This sometimes brings about a little bit of an ego and just make sure that you perceive things from a non-egoistic standpoint. Think that, oh, this, is, this doesn't belong to me, but I am just a channel for this divine breath. If you think you are the source of this power, sometimes you can be egoistic and anger can come out. And sometimes you become very angry and you become furious and you damage things around you or yourself and uh, blow like a hurricane, so to say. So try to be aware of this. If these things are happening, try to go into the surrendering feeling and uh, let go of the ego as much as you can. And then your messages will bring humanity like beautiful spiritual inspirations. And then your wind will blow like a, a cool breeze in a summer day. So the wind can still be very beneficial for, uh, for us. And uh, another thing is changes are very important in your life. You, your life can have a lot of changes. Sometimes this is very beneficial that you can be adaptive to the changes and when you move to a new place, you can adapt very quickly. But sometimes it's too much change and uh, this can be draining, overwhelming. But uh, also the changes in the um, cycles of moon, for example, can be very influencing you. So I, sus uh, I suggest you to keep a moon calendar and be aware of how different phases of moon affect you so you can have a consciousness about it. For example, on full moon, I become more um, angry or agitated or whatever. And so when the full moon is coming, you know that you're training your mind that something will happen in this direction. So uh, you can be aware of the changes on your in your psychology in this way you can uh, blow like a cool breeze in a summer day instead of a hurricane so this is much about uh, much or less about the wind sign and uh, if you have any questions please uh, write me send me a message write in the comments or contact me directly if you don't know your mayan sign you can go to my website mymayansign.com and see which sign you have Maybe the wind sign is your core sign, your day sign, or maybe it's in your, one of your directions. I hope this uh, video has been useful for you. Thank you and have a nice day. See you tomorrow.